Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you would like to see how I created this painting, then please keep watching. So to begin, I've already primed my canvas using white acrylic gesso. Um, so I used two layers of white acrylic gesso. Um, and this means my canvas is completely waterproof now. For the rubbing alcohol, I'll be using 91% isopropyl alcohol. You can get this on Amazon. Um, I'll also be using a hairdryer on low medium setting, not very hot, not very cold. And of course, you will need some alcohol ink. Today, I'll be using brass and black. And it would also be easier if you take out the rubbing alcohol into a smaller bottle. And that's everything that we're going to need today. So jumping straight into it, I'm just going to wet my entire canvas. Um, actually, not my entire canvas. I'll just wet the areas with a rubbing alcohol where I want the ink to go or where I want my design to go. And you're just going to drop your ink straight into it. So I'm just using gold to begin with. And then I'm going to grab some black. Um, I accidentally used too much black at this point, but I had to carry on. That's the beauty of art. You never know what you're really going to get at the end. So I go ahead with more alcohol ink because alcohol ink does dilute your ink a little bit. So I thought at this point I would like rescue my painting and just add a bit more alcohol ink to dilute the black a little bit because initially I didn't want this much black. Um, but what can you do? You just have to go with the flow. So at this point I'm just spreading the ink around um, the places where I want it to stay so it will be good it'll be a good idea to just um, maybe use a straw or just blow at it just to get the ink moving and flowing a little bit and to be honest at this point you don't really want to worry too much about where it goes because once you get your hairdryer out you can manipulate um, most of the ink into the direction that you want it to go so once that's done and I'm happy with the shape and, and the size of where I want my black to be, I'm just going to go ahead and grab my hairdryer on a low medium setting. And this is where the magic happens. This is the part that I love the most. And as you can see, it's creating these amazing patterns and the gold is becoming more vibrant as it goes to the top and the black dries up and it just looks amazing. I just love this part of the process where you get to move the ink around with your hairdryer. So once that's done and I'm happy with how it looks, I can move on to the next part of the process which is the gold leaf. You don't really have to do the gold leaf if you don't want to. You can just leave your painting like this and it would be absolutely fine. But I feel like mine needs a bit more gold. So I'm going to grab my um, gold leaf size and I'm just going to grab a small paintbrush and go around the edges of the alcohol ink where the paint meets, where my um, canvas meets the ink and I'm just going to go around it. So I also want it to go around where the gold is and just intensify those lines um, that were originally created by the ink. And you're just going to let that dry until it becomes clear. And as you can see, my adhesive has dried, so it's very sticky now and I'm ready to place my gold leaf on. And I'm just using a soft bristle brush to brush off any excess gold leaf. And that is how it looks at this point. You can of course leave it like this if you want but I'm going to go ahead and put in some Arabic calligraphy on the side where the negative space is. I mean I love negative space on paintings. Um, and this painting would be absolutely fine the way it is, but I'm going to go ahead and draw my Arabic calligraphy on.
and here's the finished piece guys i'm actually so happy with how this came out if you try it do let me know um you can find my work on instagram at Culp calligraphy please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to see more videos thank you so much see you next time